So I have a choice as a psychiatrist. I can see four people and prescribe four medications and make 600 bucks an hour. Or I can talk to one person about their feelings and make 200 bucks an hour. Right? That's the world we live in. And it's not good enough. Like, we can't use our standard solutions anymore. We have to think outside of the box and we have to face the challenges that there are, which is like AOE healing. That's what this is about. I want to say anonymous, how to deal with climate change and the possibility of societal and economic collapse in the mid far future. I'm horribly depressed because of it and in so much pain. I feel horrible for wanting to have children and possibly putting them into this world. Okay. So I, you know, oddly enough, I, I get this fair amount, like in my actual private practice, like people come to me and they're kind of say they feel depressed because of like what the future holds. So, Okay, how can I say this? So like if, so either societal or economic collapse is going to happen. So there are three possibilities, right? One is that societal or economic collapse is going to happen. The second is that it's not going to happen. And the third is that it may happen. And so my response to this person is like, which of those? So if you feel like it's inevitable, first of all, like, where do you get that? Because I don't think that that's the case. I mean, people have been, you know, foreseeing economic collapse, apocalypse, and stuff since, like, as long as people got together and talked about this stuff, right? Um, and so, you know, I, I, I don't know. I think human beings are, like, really bad at predicting the future, generally speaking. Like, if we just look at it historically, there have been people who have been concerned about the collapse of humanity since humanity became a thing. So I, I think that there's some, you know, evidence to kind of question your thoughts or beliefs there. The second thing is that if it is inevitable, then... I don't know exactly what that means. I guess you have to sort of sort that out for yourself. But my sense is that if you think that the world is like destined for failure, then I think that, you know, what are you going to do about it is my first question. So I think this is like, this is a question about dharma. So if you think that societal and economic collapse are like going to happen, like what are you going to do about it? So you can sort of say like, oh, the world is falling apart. Woe is me. And I'm going to feel depressed. But I think that, the world falls apart or whether things like fall apart or don't fall apart depends on like your actions and like my, it depends on my actions and it depends on like Twitch chat's actions, right? Like that's what we're here for. We're, I mean, like we're here to sort of help ourselves. We're here to help, um, uh, you know, we're here to like help the world and make it a better place. And so if you think that, um, the world is like going to hell in a handbasket. My first thought is like, what are you going to do about it? Because in my experience, if you have a problem and, and listen to this carefully, if you have a problem and you start trying to do something about that problem and you start making progress, then you will be amazed at how that affects your depression. There's actually good evidence that there's something called behavioral activation, which is an evidence-based treatment for depression. And what behavioral activation is, is it's like getting people to go out and do things. Behavioral activation is about the presumption that therapy and medication is not the only way that you can help people who are depressed. But if you can get them to like go and do stuff, if you can activate their behavior, then their depression will get better. So if you're depressed because you think the world is going to fall apart, like try to do something about it. And you'll be amazed at like what difference that makes for your depression. And maybe the world won't collapse because of what you do. Right? It's kind of like, just go and do something. So I'd say, like, go plant a tree. Like, if you're worried about climate change, go plant a tree. Like, if things are screwed and we're all dead anyway, at least there's one more tree around. Who knows? And maybe that one tree is going to be what tips the balance and prevents us from, like, cycling into a, you know, horrible, like, carbon emission spiral where, like, ice is melting and more trapped CO2 gets released and all that crap. And then it's sort of a doomsday scenario. I, I don't know. But I I'd say do something. This stream is because... I feel like young people, and that's, what, what, is that a boomer statement or what? But like, I'm serious. Young people nowadays, nowadays are feeling stuck and directionless. And I don't think it's their fault, to be very clear. So I think that like the reason that a lot of people are disillusioned today is because we were told by the generation above us that there is a particular road to success, right? They said, go to college, get a job. 
you with one income, you can get a mortgage because this is what worked for us. So this is the formula for success. And all you guys need to do is like do this thing and everything will be okay. But the circumstances that they lived in and the circumstances that we live in are different, right? Like the percentage, the hours that you needed to work after you graduated from college to pay back your loans is like a fraction of what it is today. The prices of homes back then were like way cheaper than they are now relative to standard income. And the other thing is like college degrees are not worth nearly as much as they used to be. Right. So like now it's like you see an intro level position for thirty thousand dollars a year that requires four that's recommends four years of work experience. It's like that's an intro level position. You're paying 30 K a year and you want four years of work experience like that's that's what we face. Right. So, you know, I, I mean, with my parents, they sort of said my dad told us one of y'all is going to be a doctor and one of y'all is going to be a lawyer. And uh, my brother is older, so he got to choose first. And then. Um, after that, we, you know, so I, I became a doctor and they sort of said like, oh, the way to be happy is to like, just become a doctor. And so I said, okay, fine. And so I, I majored in pre-med, but like, I didn't care about it. Right. Like I just couldn't, like, it felt completely meaningless to me to just go and like, get some job and be a doctor and like, go out and like, sure is the ego behind saving lives, but that's what it was about. It's like, I'm going to be a doctor. And then, uh, uh, yeah, I say lives. Uh, that's how it is. Right. I didn't really care about it. And so I think the challenges that we face are different. And I think that in the generation before us, you could sort of live your life and, you know, you could get a job and you had like a pension that your company would like pay out 30 years from now. Like you could get a job at one company. You could be an employee at that company for your entire life and they would actually take care of you when you retired. And you could just get a job and you could have a family and a white picket fence and everything was hunky-dory. But, like, I think the world demands more of us today than it did in the past. I think these issues like climate change and societal and economic collapse require more of the average person in terms of a contribution than, like, the past, that, like, people needed to do in the past. I think in order to create a better world for all human beings today, it requires all human beings to pitch in. And that involves planting trees and involves like that's the birth of this stream was about like, okay, this is not working, right? Like mental health is not working. There are challenges that people face. There are wait lists to see therapists. There are people who feel disillusioned. There are people who go to see therapists and they get diagnosed with depression. They get given a pill and sent home because currently the, the compensation structure of medicine is to prescribe as much medication as you can if you're a psychiatrist, if you want to make the most amount of money. Insurance pays about $200 for me to sit with someone on average for one hour and talk to them about their feelings and try to help them understand themselves. Insurance also pays me $150 to spend 15 minutes with that same person and prescribe them a medication. So I have a choice as a psychiatrist. I can see four people and prescribe four medications and make 600 bucks an hour, or I can talk to one person about their feelings and make 200 bucks an hour right? That's the world we live in. And it's not good enough. Like we can't use our standard solutions anymore. We have to think outside of the box and we have to face the challenges that there are, which is like AOE healing. That's what this is about. Because the challenges that people face nowadays are different. It's like back in my day, I used to get bullied, but you know what the cool thing is about being bullied in school? Like when I was growing up in the 80s and early 90s is when you're done with school, you get to go home and the bully doesn't chase you. Now with like social media, like if you're getting bullied at school, like what do you think happens to your Twitter account and Instagram account? Like people are trashing you on that too. You can't escape from the bullies now. The world is a different place and it needs like different solutions. And so I get that you feel horribly depressed and that's absolutely like it's a reasonable response. I'm not blaming you for feeling that way. But I think if we if humanity has any chance of coming out of this mess, it's going to be because of people like you actually doing something. Because of people like me actually doing something. And I I have faith that if we <laughs> I have faith at the end of the day and despite you know what happened last week on on when I tried to hop on Discord 
and I put my faith in humanity, and I put my faith in Twitch, and 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 someone let me down. But I still have faith in you guys. I still have faith in y'all. Um, 